Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here or welcome back. I am coming to you from the beautiful, beautiful Costa Rica as you can hear by the sounds of the jungle. This is a restorative practice. There's some gentle movement, but then we'll hold some postures towards the end. So some props will be needed. So either have a couple of blocks or a couple of blocks and a bolster, or you can just fold up a blanket to really, ultimately we need the props for a supportive heart opener towards the end of practice. So get creative, maybe use a couch cushion or pillows and have those close by. There will be sounds of the jungle today in the practice, maybe a few monkeys. And also um, it is the morning here, so the town here is just starting to wake up. You might hear some people chatting in a distance. Just allow whatever external sounds you hear to take you deeper into your practice. I'm going to read us a reflection towards the end of practice from a book called Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. And the reflection today is around trusting our inner voice. So get into something comfortable today. We're gonna to leave this practice feeling at ease, centered and connected to our true essence. All right, let's get this practice started. Let's get started on our backs. So let's lay ourselves down. And you can either start with your legs straight out long or you can have the knees bent with the feet out wide, as wide as the mat, and let the knees fall in to touch. You can bring your hands to your belly or arms down by your side, palms up. I like to give my chest a little lift and gently tuck the shoulders under and then relax the back down. That way the chest and the heart space is nice and open. So make your last adjustments here. Get your wiggles and jiggles out, get comfortable. Close down your eyes or soften your gaze. And we'll take two deep cleansing breaths together just to clear the space and arrive. So exhale your breath through your nose. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose that your belly and chest completely fill up. And then a big exhale out through the mouth, let it go. All the air goes out. And we'll do that one more time. Nice big inhale through the nose. Let your belly and chest expand, fill up. And then a nice exhale through the mouth. Let it go, release. Let it go, let it go. And close your mouth. And then shift your breath in and out through both nostrils. So just let everything settle. Allow yourself to arrive here on your mat. Whole body resting. Just start to focus your awareness on your breath. So feel your belly rise and fall as you inhale and as you exhale. So we want to anchor in to that smooth rhythm of breath. So we're starting to shift from the external world using the breath as the bridge, as the pathway to shift internally. So here, see if you can make the breath smooth and even and deep and silent and seamless. So a continuous breath, the inhale flowing into the exhale, the exhale flowing into the inhale. Allowing yourself to be here 
in this moment. Releasing any expectations. Just allow yourself to arrive. As you're anchoring into the breath, we'll start to bring the knees in towards the chest from wherever you are. Pull the knees in, interlace your fingers around your shins. You can be still here or you can gently rock or sway from side to side. Give your lower back a little massage or just be still. One hand is gonna stay on each leg and then start to open up the legs. Let them fall to the sides and just gently opening up the inner lines of the legs, the groin, the pelvic floor. Continue to breathe, abdominal breath. So as you inhale, you feel the belly rise. And as you exhale, the belly softens. Relax your shoulders, soften your jaw. And then gently bring your legs back together. Keep your right leg in, extend your left leg long, interlace the fingers around your right shin. Flex both feet, protect the knees. Use your biceps to pull in that right thigh. So as you inhale, just create that space. As you exhale, gently draw the right thigh in. Now as we're engaging here, we're also finding ease. It's that dance between the two, that engagement and that softness and ease. And we're going to add in a nice simple twist. So you can relax the flexion of the feet, take your left hand to the outside of the right thigh and roll over onto your left side. Your right arm's gonna open up, right palm is up, externally rotate the right shoulder. And then your head, your neck is wherever is the most comfortable for you, either looking to the left or center or all the way over to the right. So we're never forcing or pushing our way into a shape. Meet your point of resistance and then drop into your breath, close your eyes. So we're in a twist here, so we're breathing abdominally, so belly rises and falls. With every exhale, just allow that right shoulder to soften. couple more breaths here. Alright, start to bring yourself back to center on your back. Place both feet down onto the mat. Notice if your hips have adjusted, just give your hips a little lift and then lower down, re-level the hips. Draw your left thigh in, interlace the fingers around your left shin and extend your right leg long. You can flex the left foot, protect the knee. Relax your shoulders, slight tuck in of the chin so the back of the neck is long. And then drop into your breath again. 
Inhale, create that space. Exhale, use your biceps to draw the left thigh in. And again, find that dance between effort and ease. in that twist so the right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh roll over onto your right side let that left arm open up palm is up feel that expansion across the chest hear that monkey and find your point of resistance and then that's where we begin we begin where we are perhaps you close your eyes helps us shift internally drop into your abdominal breathing couple more breaths here. And start to bring yourself back to center. Place both feet down onto the mat. Give your hips a readjustment, lift and lower. And then draw your knees back in towards the chest once again, interlace your fingers. From here, we're gonna make our way onto all fours. So tabletop position, either rock yourself up or roll over onto one side and meet me there. So you're gonna come into table, so spread your fingers wide, wrists under the shoulders, knees hip width distance apart. And we'll just move through a couple cat cows to open up the spine, nice and simple. So on the inhale, we're gonna release the belly, lift the gaze, soften the shoulders. Exhale, pull the belly in, push the floor away, nose towards the belly button to your cat. Twice more, inhale, open up to your cow. Exhale to your cat, feel that stretch in the back of the neck. And then one more time, inhale to your cow. Exhale to your cat. Come back to your tabletop here, and then just give your hips a little sway from side to side. You might feel some clicking. Just let the hips kind of open up a little bit. And now we're gonna sit back on our heels. So if you know that that's not gonna feel good for your knees, feel free to take a block or a pillow in between the ankles, or you can take two if you want and stack them up. So from here, we're gonna take our hands onto our shoulders, and we're gonna do the opposite motion of what we normally, a lot of us do in the day, is kind of round forward. So hands on the shoulders, you're gonna bring your elbows forward, up, and back and around. So stay connected to your breath. Releasing the shoulder rolls, we're gonna move the spine laterally. So you're gonna take your left hand down onto the ground. Your right arm is gonna reach up and over Root down through your right sit bone, reach through your right fingers, and then you wanna keep the chest open. Soften the shoulders, 
Breathe nice and deep. So you want to feel a long line from your right sit bone arching across the right side of your body all the way through to the fingertips. You're going to use a little bit of your core here. Inhale, lift the left arm up to meet the right. And then other side, exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over. Find your breath again here. Chest stays open, soften the shoulders, root down through your left sit bone and extend and arch all the way through to the left fingers. Inhale, right arm reaches up to meet the left. Then as we exhale, lower the arms down. Now we'll just open up the chest. So we're going to take our hands, interlace them behind us. Give your shoulders a loop onto the back and knit the ribs in so they're not popping out. From here, extend your elbows down and away from you. Eyes along the horizon. And we'll shift the breath pattern. So you're gonna inhale into the chest, and as you exhale, the navel pulls back in. So find your rhythm here like that. Breathe into the chest, into the heart space, and let that breath expand into the collarbones. And exhale, the navel pulls in. And just two more breaths like that. Release your hands, interlace them in front of you, palms face you, knuckles away, and then push the knuckles away from you. Pull the belly in, making like a C shape here. Chin tucks in, breathe into your upper back. So you might feel sensation in the upper neck, upper back. And then lift your chest up, flip your palms away from you, scoop the arms up, inhale, reach up. Then as you exhale, release your arms and clear the space around you, clearing your aura. All right, so let's come into deer pose. So come off of your heels, move your blocks to the side. And we'll start on the right side. So just gonna shift over to the left side of your mat a little bit and then drop your right hip and right thigh down. So we're gonna bring the right leg forward and the left leg behind. So it's like you're in a pinwheel shape. You can have your right leg parallel to the top of the mat. If that doesn't feel good, feel free to bring your heel in a little closer. Ideally, you have 290, 90 degrees, but the back leg, if it feels better to have the heel in, have the heel in. So here we're just going to loosen up this left hip a little bit. So take your right hand down on the ground, left hand comes to your left hip, and we're just going to slowly and gently rock forward and back. So you're just lubricating the joint here. It's like you're massaging it open. And stay connected to your breath as you do this. Okay, now from here, we're gonna start to add in a fold. So you can walk your hands forward and if this is enough, you can stay right here or you can come onto your forearms or if you have a bolster, you can lay over your bolster or if you have two blocks or pillows, you can place your forearms on the blocks. So however you need to feel supported, just bring the floor up to you with whatever props you have. If you wanna go a little deeper, you can always walk your torso towards that right flexed foot. You might feel a different sensation in a different area. But ultimately, we're coming into this shape to slow down, 
to rest. So find your position. When you found your position, your posture here, so allow yourself to commit to stillness. I always like to give myself a little scan with my inner eye from the top of the head all the way down through the whole body to the toes. And just see if there's any pockets of holding, of tension. And then using the next few exhales to invite in softness. So relax the fingers and the toes, the jaw, the hips, the shoulders. Close down your eyes or soften your gaze. And just anchor into the natural rhythm of your breath. Every exhalation, we're moving past another layer of tension or density, feeling that release. Start to deepen your breath once again. Preparing to come out of this shape. Going to lift your torso back up. Just place your props aside. Lean over to your right and bring that back leg, the left leg forward. Hands behind you, place your feet down and we'll just Give ourselves a little windshield wiper side to side. So we're internally and externally rotating the hips. Maybe you give your chest a little puff up, a little open as a counter from the forward fold. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. So maybe you scoot your bum over to the right, lean over to your left, actually, Scoot your bum over a little to the left. Lean to your left and then bring that right leg behind you. Left leg is in front, right leg behind. So decide the positioning of your legs, what feels most supportive for your knees. Make sure there's no pain. And then we'll take the right hand on the hip and then we'll just start to gently rock forward and back. So starting to invite in that letting go of the right hip and really stay tethered to your breath as you do this. Stay present to the experience.
And then when you feel ready, we're gonna bring in the fold. So start to walk the hands forward. And just paying attention along the way where you meet that point of resistance. So wherever you meet that edge, that's where we begin. And then we can always adjust the props after if we need to lower them. So using your bolster or your blocks, making the adjustments here. Maybe one side feels a little different than the other. And it's not to judge, just simply notice, bringing it to your awareness. Then close your eyes or soften the gaze, drop into your breath. Relax your fingers and your toes, soften your jaw, soften the shoulders, release the hips and the groin and the pelvic floor and use your exhalations to assist you. The exhale is that vehicle to release, to let go. I'm gonna take it moment by moment, focusing on one breath at a time, that natural rhythm of breath in and out through the nose. And just see here if you can find the courage to exhale through any tension or resistance rather than trying to go around it or wish it away. What would happen if you exhaled through it? Invite in that softness. Begin to deepen your breath once again. And start to prepare to come out of the shape. So lift your torso up. Props aside. Lean over to your left side and gently bring your right leg forward. And again, we'll do a little windshield wiper from side to side, release, a little free movement, a little free flow. Okay. Now from here, we're gonna set up for our supportive heart opener. So it will depend on what props you have. If you have a bolster, you can just lay it down the long way and we're gonna lay over it. Or if you have a blanket, you can roll up the blanket and put it down horizontally and lay yourself over. Just know that the thicker it is, the more intense it's gonna be. So we, we don't need it to be super intense as we're making this uh, a gentle, supportive heart opener. 
Or if you have two blocks, you can build a little base and then lay a bolster on top. I have two blocks today, so I will demo the blocks. I take one block to the highest setting, the next block on the second highest setting, either vertically or horizontally, and you might try both and see what you prefer. Whatever shape you're doing with whatever props, just make sure your sit bones are connected to the mat. And then you're gonna lay yourself over your props. And adjust your props as you need to get comfortable, to feel supported. And either here your legs can be straight out if you feel like there's any pain or compression in the lower back, you can bend the knees, have the feet wide, and let your knees fall into touch. Or if you want a deeper hip opener, you can bring the soles of the feet to touch knees open. And if you have extra props, tuck a couple of pillows underneath the backs of the legs for that ultimate support. Okay. So make your last adjustments here get comfortable feel supported arms could be by the side or hands on the belly <sighs> let's take a cleansing breath here together just to arrive in this shape so exhale your breath through the nose and invite in a nice inhale here and then exhale out through the mouth <sighs> release and then close your mouth and shift your breathing back to in and out through the nose. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And relax and soften the energy behind your eyes. Just allow everything to settle here. And know that the ground, the mat, your props are beneath you, supporting you. Breath is effortless. With your next natural exhale, invite in even more softness. Just allow yourself to receive here. Rest and receive in this space of pure awareness.
shape if you'd like as your final resting shape as Shavasana or if you'd like to transition you can start to deepen your breath and start to shift out of the shape taking your time no rush and coming into Shavasana so yogi's choice either stay right here or start to transition If you're coming into Shavasana, feel free and inspired to bring your blocks underneath the backs of the thighs or a bolster underneath the backs of the knees. Support yourself as you need, get comfortable or no props at all if you don't want props. Take up as much space as you'd like. Wherever you are, just allow your whole body to rest. Breath is effortless. And just scan yourself with your inner eye from the top of your head all the way down through your entire body. Just allow yourself to exhale and release. There is nothing left here for you to do. There's nowhere else for you to be. Nothing is asked of you. This time is here for you to nourish yourself. At very deep multi-dimensional layers. Now before I let us drift away in silence, I'm going to read you a reflection from a book called Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. And after that, we'll rest and receive in silence, and I'll let you know when it's time to come back. Today's reflection is called Listen to Your Inner Voice. Our inner voice, that quiet guide within, will lead us along our path will help us create our destiny, will keep us in harmony. So much stress comes from not listening, not trusting our inner voice. So much confusion comes from trying to act before we have heard, before we are guided. So much pain comes when we deny what that voice is saying, when we try to run from it or make it go away. We wonder, how can we trust ourselves? The better question is, how can we not trust ourselves? Our rage, anger, and most bitter resentments occur when we trust others rather than ourselves. Yes, sometimes promptings come from outside ourselves. The universe is alive, magical, responsive, and will guide us on our way. But the answer must always resonate, must always ultimately come from that place within. Our heart, our soul, our inner voice. Sometimes we need to listen to others until we become impassioned enough to hear and trust ourselves. It takes practice the quiet practice of listening until we learn how to hear ourselves then interpret what we hear. It is neither wasted time nor incidental to our lives to learn to hear ourselves, to learn to tune into our hearts and souls. That's part of the reason we're here. 
part of our destiny, our mission, our purpose, our best work, our finest moments, our joy happen when we're centered, listening to and trusting ourselves, allowing our hearts and souls to guide us. They happen when we allow ourselves to fully, completely, and in love, be who we are. Notice what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. And know that this place of deep ease and calm is always, always available to you. It is always there. Beneath all of the ups and downs, the fluctuations, beneath all of it, there is this place within us that is always at rest. And that is your true essence.
Now from this space of your true essence, slowly begin to breathe into that, deep in your breath. As you deepen your breath, slowly start to bring some movement back to your body, starting to reawaken. Wherever you are, maybe you bring your arms up overhead, maybe you stretch your legs out. Maybe you take a moment Pause on your side, depending on where you are. Just take a moment of transition before we come up to a seat. Slowly start to make your way back upright to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Find this relaxed awareness. Close down your eyes. And just take these last few moments here with yourself, with your breath. Connect back in to that deep place within you that is always at rest. And just know that it's always there. It's a breath away. It's a shift in perspective, shift in awareness. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart space, slight bowing of the chin, acknowledge your efforts. Take a breath into your heart. Exhale, allow it to soften. May we take this place of deep ease and nourishment and centeredness with us off of our mats and into the rest of the day, weaving it into everything that we do so that even the mundane becomes magic. Thank you so much for your trust, for sharing your practice with me. From my heart to yours, namaste.